morning. Uh, first, I would like to thank to the organizers for allowing me to present my work. I uh, also want to thank you for your interest in this presentation and for your kind understanding of my English. I'm an Spanish of the 60s, and Spanish of the 60s, we don't learn English, we learn French. <laughs> and English is not my, it's not my, it's my third language, <laughs> or maybe the fourth, <laughs> after the Portuguese, because I live in the northwest of Spain, near to Portugal. <laughs> Probably. We don't, uh, Spanish people neither now speak English very well. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, just a year ago, I had the pleasure to present my doctoral dissertation entitled Text Comprehension in Blind People. My dissertation was the culmination of a research project developed between the University of Santiago de Compostela, the USC, and the National Organization of the Spanish, of the Spanish Blind, uh, as you know, once, not once, once. <laughs> uh, that was a pro project involved a comparative study of the performance of a group of blind people and a group of sight people uh, in reading comprehension and listening comprehension too, using three different ways to access to the information. Braille for blind people and imprint for um, uh, sight people, of course, and natural voice recording and uh, a speech synthesis system. Today, in keeping with the, with the title of this conference, I will only present the results related to Braille reading, sometimes comparing it with print reading and overlooking the other two ways of access to information. Uh, the collaboration between the USC and the ONCE allowed to me to access to a sample of 122 blind people, regular Braille readers, all, allow, all around Spain. Uh, the, the, the size of, the, of that sample is bigger as your uh, research, uh, because usually the, the, the research are, are made with 10, 30, 15 people, no more. And we have the opportunity to have a big sample. And uh, we have another sample of 133 uh, sight people, print reader. Both samples were matched by age, by education level. No one has any disabilities, different of sight of blindness, of course, and the location level of all the of both groups came from five degree. I translate to the to an international scale, more or less. Uh, five degree is around ten or eleven years old. Two university graduates. We use. Uh, to, to measure the reading comprehension, we use the test five of the Prolex C. The Prolex C is the most commonly test used in Spain for evaluate uh, the reading comprehension, and we transcribe it to Braille. Uh, the, is a, the, the answer uh, must be right by the by the. Um, students, but in the case of blind people, we take note of the exactly uh, answer of the people, of the blind people. In, uh, in, in the sight people, they uh, match the question directly, they, they match the question directly. Uh, the reading speed was measured with a test created uh, for this purpose, very similar to those of the Prolex C, and we um, uh, we measure the reading speed with this new text. In regard to reading speed expressed as what read per minute, we found that the average reading speed in Braille was 75, 77 words read per minute, uh, significantly less than in print. In print, the uh, sight people used to the the mean was 154. Uh, um, that means, the, the, uh, excuse me, that result is very similar to the older result that you can found in the in the research literature. In people, uh, blind people used to read three or four times 
less uh, slower than sight people. The results are similar, but this is, these are the general results of all the of all the sample. But we can uh, we can see the, the the difference. Of course, are significant are significant. Of course, but we can see the the result level by level. Take from two course into course. Then we found that the progress of blind people in reading speed go go grow. Uh, slowly. From the beginning, in the 10 years more or less, they start in 41 uh, words for per minute, as the, as the first presentation said, more or less, and grow up to 80, the mean is the 83 read per minute between university graduates. In the case of uh, sight people, we found that the progress is uh, is um, bigger, and the difference between blind people and sight people grow, grow, grow. Except, this is a um, um, problem in the investigation. Except in between university graduates, because we think that uh, the university graduate, we uh, with sight people, we do the test in the Faculty of Psychology of the University of Santiago de Compostela. Um, psychologist, I'm psychologist. <laughs> used to when they when they are evaluate, they used to think. They say to me that uh, he's mm, uh, measuring my reading speed, but I can I'm not sure that he's, he's measuring the the speed. I go reading to a slower in a, in a slower speed, and in this way, if the evaluator me <laughs> ask any other question uh, who is not clear, I will be prepared to respond. <laughs> and for this, we, we, this is not our hypothesis. <laughs> this is the, we we can found other other interpretation for. Uh, for the the decrease of the reading speed in sight people. Um, well, excuse me. We also analyze. This is an important thing. We also analyze the influence in braille reading of several factors related to blindness and braille reading. Factors such as time of onset of uh, blindness, previous experience as in readers in any case, years of experience of, uh, of experience of reading braille, and hand movements reading braille too. Using uh, taking in account this factor, different this different factor, we found that the factor related to uh, braille and blindness explained the 27 percent of the variance of the uh, of the in the multiple regression in a statistical uh, measure uh, explained only the 20 percent. Of the variance, the factor related with education level in reading speed explain the 21 percent. Then, the factor related to braille and blindness explain more variance than the education level, and the rest of the variance, the 52 uh, 52 percent, are explained by other factors probably related with the process of reading, independent of the way, independent of the braille or of the print. Among the factors related to blind and braille, the only ones that are significant from the, the I previously men, uh, mentioned are the braille uh, reading experience, the years of experience reading braille, and the hand movements pattern. Uh, people with more experience reading Braille and people who use a more complex pattern reach higher reading speed. The other factors studied don't explain any part of the variance. 
Uh, regarding to reading comprehension, I changed now from sp uh, reading speed to reading comprehension. Regarding to reading comprehension, express as correct answer with a maximum of 20 points, we found that the average score of both samples, blind and people, are very, very, very similar. 12 points both samples. Our result that all the detectable processing in braille reading is between two and three times slower than visual processing in print reading, both groups reach similar levels of reading comprehension, and we can affirm that the low reading speed of braille doesn't do not influence the level of reading comprehension. As we do with uh, speed, with reading speed, uh, we try to to show what what uh, what is the situation in the different grades of uh, of academic level, and we found I put the both uh, we found a very very interesting pattern uh, in the beginning around ten years, ten eleven years. Both samples, sight and blind people, match the same punctuation, around seven, eight points. And at the end, uh, at the end of our samples, between uh, 11, 12 degree, it's around 16, 17 years. And grad at university, uh, university graduates, the, pu the punctuation, punctuation Puntuations are very, very similar to between 15 and 16 points. But in the middle, just in the adolescence, the difference are significant. The difference between blind people and sight, and sight people are difficult, uh, significant in reading comprehension. The comprehension is better between sight people. And we ask us, why? Why, if, if the, in the beginning are similar and at the end are similar, why in the middle, between 12 years and 16 years, uh, there are significant differences? Uh, our, our found showed that uh, blind people, when read Braille, need to devote more cognitive uh, resources to decode the braille code, then if they devote more uh, processing uh, um, resource to that, uh, that task, they lose comprehension. But when they automatize the, the reading process, the decodification, they achieve the same reading uh, comprehension as, blind, as sight people. And that occur at the end of the adolescence, as I said. This turning point, around 15, 16 point, as I said, is very interesting. If you, when, when I read uh, the literature uh, around reading comprehension, not only between blind people, because there are uh, there are few research uh, related to reading comprehension, but reading comprehension between general population, between deaf people, between uh, other uh, peop blind people, no, blind people that use blind people, no, impaired visually impaired person who use other ways to access to the information. We showed different research related to this theme, this theme and we found very, very interesting things. We found that this difference around 15, 16 years appears true in the pattern of, ge of general psychological development of blind children and adolescents, appears true in the pattern of development in the reading skills of children with low vision using, uh, for example, text and plight or, or, sim or something similar, appears too in the pattern of development, of development of verbal comprehension of deaf people using sing language, 
and a path to in the moment of further progress in the capacity of working memory. Perfect. Uh, of, of working, as you mentioned be, be, uh, before. I want to stop here for a moment in the working memory. Uh, the Wednesday, an early base pack, I don't know if, if he is here, uh, he, uh, he, he talked about a uh, short term memory, verbal short term memory, and I was talking to her. Uh, mm, uh, the difference between short term memory and working memory is very, 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 the difference is very, very slow. Maybe the, the, the only question is that working memory is a work, is a memory who works. It's a memory who needs a small process. A small, the, the verbal, the short, uh, short memory don't need process. And we think that this is working memory because implies a short of processing. Why? The explanation was in the presentation of Anneli Weisbach because she said that, for example, when, he when uh, blind people read uh, the word bubble, for example, they process the information, letter by reading, letter by letter, <laughs> process and said, B, U, what what different words can be can be the the next what different the next letter what will be when he arrived to the central b probably they can guess the rest of the of the letter in the word and this implies a processing and for this reason we work uh, we talk about um, working memory very quickly i excuse me in the previous is an important uh, for this reason, for the reason that I said previously, I think that we have to talk about general comprehension. General that this is a general comprehension factor. Well, according to the variance, very quickly, the variance in this case, factor related with braille and blindness explain. 20% of the variance, very similar to reading speed. Was in the reading speed was 27. In this case, in reading comprehension is 30%. The academic level explain more, more, more variance. Explain that 37%, 16 point more than in reading speed. Then, of course, it's, it's very, very natural to, to, to understand that because. If you have a more uh, uh, education level, a bigger education level, your comprehension is better. And the other factor explain the 33%. But between the braille and blindness factor, what is significant? Only the reading experience is significant. Only the reading experience, the pattern of movement of the hands disappear. The only one is the experience reading. You comprehend. You you com you can comprehend before comprehend before before. No, excuse me. Better if you have more uh, experience reading. And I finish with some the uh, uh, the six point only six point, and I will read it. The implication of this result are important for the, s the next question. We need to encourage to use the braille reading and teach more complex reading pattern. Reading speed is the greatest difference between blind and sight people. Reading speed can be increased with reading experience and early development of more complex hand movement pattern. Reading comprehension in braille does not depend on on either the visual loss or the nature of the Bryce system, but rather on the education level and the reading experience. This is true of reading comprehension in the general population. Therefore, we should not speak of braille reading comprehension, we should speak about reading comprehension without the qualifier. During the secondary education between 12 and 16 years, special attention should be paid to ensure that low reading rate do not affect the evaluation of academic performance of blind students. 
Although during secondary education, uh, there is a delay in reading comprehension between the blind and the sight student, this delay disappears after 16 years old. Time should be devoted to increase the working memory to obtain better reading performance in Braille, as much as in speed and in comprehension. Since the, the Braille reading presents high requir requirements of this kind of memory. And finally, we can use a standard test to evaluate, read to evaluate reading comprehension, transcript to Braille, but using a scales for blind population, so it's essential to have these scales. And that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Thank Luis, you. for these really interesting results. There's Thank time for one short question. Yes. Uh, hello, Luis. Hello. Uh, the, my question is: When the braille reading speed change according to the use of braille contraction, or do, did you use braille contraction in the reading tests or not? Uh, we uh, in in Spain we don't use uh, contract braille. We uh, in, in Spanish uh, nobody nobody not but. 99% of the population read uh, uncontact braille. <gasps> okay, thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, there's no, no, no more problem. time for questions. But the lunch time. I'm, I'm ready for <laughs> to talk to you when you want. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh.